Hey there, Bulldog fans. Welcome to Orlando, Florida, as we get set for the ESPN Events Invitational alongside Nick Gardner. I'm Mark Minner. Time for On the Road with Mark and Nick, a new season partner yep. as the Bulldogs are on the road here in Florida for three games in four days. And the first test is Florida Atlantic, a team that's coming off a magical Final Four run a season ago. 14 to 15 returnees, one of the few schools that did not have anyone enter the transfer portal. So Dusty May's got everybody back. And this is a team that can really heat you up. They shoot the three, they throw a lot of guys at you. They play a lot of different guys. But with all that being said, Vlad Golden in the middle is who you'd really need to concentrate on with Florida Atlantic. Stop him, rebound the ball, and turnovers are going to be huge as well tomorrow. Oh, a little bit of rain coming down here as we're at the water park at the team hotel. Beautiful property. We had a chance to go over to shoot around right before to see the team warm up, go through just day of no normal preparations yep. in advance of uh, the game tomorrow on Thanksgiving. What'd you notice about the team dynamics? Well, I'll tell you what, they look locked in. Uh, really did a good job, some specific stuff for how to defend FAU and some of the actions that they'll do. So good to see that. And I think these guys are excited after that first road test in East Lansing to come down, play on a neutral floor against another really tough opponent. The Bulldog fans always travel well. According to the event, Butler's actually purchased the most tickets of any team in the field, uh, eight team field that's in this event. And we've already seen a bunch of go dogs as we're walking through the hallways here. That's what's great about these events, right? Is And, and sometimes you, you anticipate it because they have some Bulldog gear on. Sometimes it comes out of nowhere, but uh, it's always fun to see familiar faces down at these events. And we've said it so many times, it's the reason why uh, Butler gets invited to these things because we travel so well. So it, I, I'm sure they're chomping at the bit to get out there tomorrow just like the team is. What are you thinking about you want to ride here? You've got a big water park at your disposal partner, a lot of options here on property. What's what's caught your eye? The Lazy River is always a big <laughs> eye catcher, and I've heard it's got it's not quite as lazy as some rivers we've found. There's some rapids there, so we'll try that out. There's also a surf some type of surf tank over here uh, that I'm going to give it a go, I think, at some point today. So hopefully this weather holds off and we can get a little fun in the water park before uh, before the event truly gets going tomorrow. You like the active Lazy River. Active that's, Lazy that's, River. That's, yeah, a little bit, you know, a happy medium. <laughs> Bulldog fans have an event tonight getting set for Butler and Florida Atlantic. Top 20 matchup for the Bulldogs tomorrow. Then they'll play either Penn State or Texas A&M. They'll have the third day off. That Saturday is off before finishing on Sunday to wrap up the ESPN Events Invitational. That'll do it for us today. We'll be back with more On the Road with Mark and Nick throughout the week in Orlando.